This is James Fox with another video tutorial for QuickBooks Pro 2013. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a credit memo against a previous invoice. Now let's assume that in this example, my fictional company, Joe's Landscaping, has already sold these items to Dewey Company, and Dewey Company has already paid for these items. However, a day or two later, Dewey Company wants to return two of the three red roses, maybe because they were not up to the standards that they need. So to create a credit memo against a previous invoice, the first thing you need to do is locate the invoice, and here is my sample invoice. And on the ribbon, just above the invoice, click the refund slash credit button. And that's going to bring you directly to the credit memo. Now the credit memo looks very similar to an invoice. In addition to that, the credit memo has the same items that were on the invoice. The only thing that you need to now do is adjust the items. So we need to issue a credit memo for two of the three red roses. Now the first thing that I have to do is get rid of the first line item. And to do that, I can just simply right click anywhere on the line item and then select delete line. Alternatively, you can also click on the edit menu and then select delete line. Now that I've gotten rid of the other item, I can now focus on the item for which I'm going to create the credit memo. Joe's Landscaping sold Dewey Company three red roses, but they're going to create a credit memo for two of the red roses. So I need to change the quantity in the quantity column from three to two. And if I press the tab key on my keyboard, the price will automatically adjust and the amount of the credit memo is now going to be $105.25. And 25 cents. After you have adjusted the line items accordingly, click the Save button on the ribbon just above the credit memo. Now you're going to see the Available Credit dialog box. And there are three options. The first one is to retain as an available credit. If you choose this option, you can apply the credit towards a future invoice if the customer is going to make purchases from your company in the future. The second option is to give a refund. This option will allow you to write a check for the refund. And the third option is to apply it to an invoice. If the customer currently has an open invoice, you can use this option to apply the credit to that open invoice. So let's choose the first option. Retain as available credit and then click OK. Now if you take a look in the right pane, underneath the Recent Transactions section, you'll see the credit memo for $105.25 in which the customer can use towards a future purchase. Now the next option in the available credit dialog box is to give a refund. This will allow you to immediately give a refund for the items that the customer will be returning. So let's choose give a refund and then click OK. Now we have the issue a refund dialog box. And some of the information has already been filled out. And that information is the name of the company to which we're going to issue a refund, the refund amount, the date, the address of the company that we're issuing a refund to. Now we're going to write a check for this refund and make sure you choose the bank account for which the check must be drawn from. If you want you can write a memo in the memo section and I will write a memo. Now if you're writing a check make sure you place a check next to to be printed and then click OK. Now to write the check go to the QuickBooks homepage and you can do that by clicking on the QuickBooks homepage icon on the icon bar and click the print checks icon at the bottom. Now when the print checks dialog box appears, make sure you place a check next to the check that you want to be printed. Make sure your check number matches the next available check and also make sure that you have the correct bank account selected that the check is going to be drawn from. After you have done all that, click OK. And then click print and your checks should be printing. If your checks have printed properly, click OK. If they have not printed properly and you need to reprint the checks, place a check mark in the reprint column next to the check that you must print again and you can reprint the check. Now the final option in the available credit dialog box is to apply the credit to an invoice. Now select this option if the customer already has an invoice that they have not paid for and then click OK.
Now you're going to see the Apply Credit to Invoices dialog box and place a check mark in the column next to the invoice that you want to apply the credit to. Once you've done that, click Done. Now I'm going to pull up the invoice that I just applied the credit to. I'm going back to the QuickBooks home page and I'll click on the Create Invoices icon. Now here is the invoice that I applied the credits to. And if I look towards the bottom, I'll see a total price of $421 for this particular invoice. And the next line will be payment supplied $105.25. That was the amount of the credit memo. And if you look in the right pane, you'll see credit memo for $105.25, which was used towards this invoice. And that is how you create a credit memo to be used towards a previous invoice. If you have any questions, please send me an email. Once again, my name is James Fox, and I'll see you next time.